dear students welcome to virtual classroom of municipal corporation of greater mumbai i am sri kumar the class is for 9th standard students subject is mathematics let me begin the class dear students we are starting with a new construction related to circle the new construction is of in circle in circle of a triangle that means a triangle is there uske andar ek circle ko bitana hai simple but you have only one chance to draw so you should know the center to draw the circle so locating the center then draw the circle the center should be in such a way that whatever be the whichever be the format of our triangle triangle hamesha aisa aisa dodi rehta hai sorry triangle can be like this also to so iske andar circle bithana hai triangle can be like this also so there should be a technique for knowing the center at which we can uh, draw a circle with a particular radius so that it touches here it touches here it touches here and a beautiful circle is inserted inside the circle which we have named as in circle that is our program in this video chalo thoda what is told in the textbook what is there to study we will see it is given that certain properties which you have studied in the previous years are coming in use one of the property that you should remember now is about angle bisectors what's it angle bisectors what are angle bisectors as the name indicate it will be the angle bisectors will be the line bisecting the angle here the angle bisector will divide the angle equally this will become x this will become x you have studied how to draw it If you draw angle bisectors of all the three angles of a triangle it will meet at a point in the meeting point or they are concurrent That is one thing you should remember angle bisectors of a triangle are concurrent Second thing you have to do understand or remember which you have studied in 7th standard whenever you make an angle bisector to an angle and if you draw perpendicular from the sides of the angle this distance will be equal at any point you draw a perpendicular to this side and a perpendicular to this side these perpendiculars will be equidistant from the side so one thing you should re remember this second thing you should remember this if they are equidistant in this case these are angle bisectors the dotted lines they meet at a point which is concurrent or point of meeting and these distances to the side of the triangle this is congruent to this because this is the angle bisector this is congruent to this because this is the angle bisector that means all three bisect all these perpendiculars drawn from the center of the triangle to the side are equidistant or concurrent agar ye jo hamara previous knowledge sach hai humko malum hai in that situation we can simply say that ip is equal to ir is equal to iq then why can't you draw a circle taking this as radius naturally that tri triangle that that circle will be touching here 
touching here and touching here and when completed it will look like a circle inside the triangle which we have named as in circle itna hi theoretically and the knowledge is from previous year but what is new here you have to do it you have to draw a circle which touches the sides of a triangle which is called in circle for that you have to make the triangle and do it in the exam drawing a triangle in the given measurement either by sss sa or asa all those we have studied in 7th standard so triangle you know to draw angle bisector you have studied in 6th standard that also you should know drawing a circle when the center is given is just a matter of uh, time because it is very simple with a compass chalo main aapke liye kuch bana ke kuch nahi apna in circle bana ke dikhane ka koshish karunga so for that i need geometry box chalo mera digital geometry box mein se compass nikalta hu fir scale nikalta hu itna to minimum chahiye koi bit construction mein चलो लेट इट बी हियर एट इट्स कन्वीनियंस चलो लेट मी रीड द क्वेश्चन वट इज अ क्वेश्चन कंस्ट्रक्ट पी क्यू आर एंड आई नो दैट विदाउट रफ डायग्राम इट विल गो रॉन्ग कंस्ट्रक्ट पी क्यू आर पी क्यू आर ठीक है पी क्यू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सेंटीमीटर क्यू इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव डिग्री क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर फाइव पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर पी क्यू इज गिवन है सिक्स सेंटीमीटर क्यू इज थर्टी फाइव डिग्री क्यू आर इज फाइव पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर okay this one you have to draw first before beginning the concept of in circle okay so let me start with the qrs base qr is of 5.5 cm Q and R and it is 5.5 cm. Then I need a 35 degree angle. Then, chalo. I need protractor. Then, this is my protractor, and it is 35 degree from here. okay this is an angle of 35 degree and it is q now another 6 cm to p from here to p is 
सिक्स सेंटीमीटर ओके नाउ आई कैन जॉइन आर विथ पी This is P. Now PQR is constructed. This work of making PQR is over. But draw in circle is remaining. For that, we need to make angle bisectors. it will meet at a point from there you will draw perpendicular that perpendicular distance you will be using for drawing the in circle chalo angle bisector banata hu how to make angle bisectors you have studied in 6th standard okay first thing to do is any two angle bisector will do why because two lines will meet at a point that point will be the third point of third bisector also you in order to get a point you need only two lines so draw a angle like this almost if for saving time i am using the same measurement here okay then increase the size of the com compass i think you remember all these exercise which you have studied earlier put an arc here tilt to the compass take it to the other side rotate it neatly place it the first one was drawn little small we'll redraw that okay we got a point for angle bisector the same way here also change the length already have changed draw an arc here okay the now the next work is to draw the bisectors from each vertex it should grow go through the point of intersection of both arc then only accurate accuracy will come and for me as i told you always managing this digital scale is a tough job so there is every chance for my measurement going wrong let it be follow what i am doing because this jerk cannot be managed jerk of the scale 
there is another way of drawing i will try that this time because for accuracy i need that if not it will not come out you you will be drawing with scale and it will be easy for you to draw and you know it to draw here i will be drawing it like this it can be sent through the point of intersection easily another from here through the point of intersection okay so i got a point of intersection of two angle bisectors now this point this point where they both meet is the in center or the point of concurrence which is called in center and from here the distance to each side must be equal that is the principle used if it is not equal it is because our drawing is wrong by principle it should be equal if i measure here it is almost oh perpendicular i should take it should be equal now the easiest way of doing or checking it is we will draw the circle while drawing the circle we will come to know that how correct we are in our drawing understood for that circle will help you otherwise you have to draw perpendicular from here means i will show you how to draw perpendicular to it any two sides will do for example increase this mark here you will mark here one here and we'll turn to this side and mark here and take the compass keep here just increase this and mark here take the compass to other point mark here again with ruler here i am taking this for saving time connect this point to this sorry this is the perpendicular understood and that perpendicular will be having same equidistant from to other sides also so if you draw a circle taking that distance of perpendicular to the center perpendicular from the center to the side as radius and if you draw a circle it will automatically fit as an in circle provided your measurement of oh sorry measurements and your construction is perfectly all right that is the principle okay now keeping the compass at the center you have to adjust the measure the length of the perpendicular to the side and should draw the circle when you draw the circle it will be just touching the sides of the given i would like i was going to change the color okay it will be giving a circle within the triangle understood so thereby you will be drawing or getting an in circle that is a mechanism or principle you will get it more perfect and accurate when you draw because your compass and pencil will be more accurate than on screen pencil and compass so this is the construction what we call as in circle let me go ahead for next important construction given you will practice this as much as possible and you will become expert in this 
the next kind or next type of construction is circumcircle. As the name indicate, circumference you have heard. Circumference is the boundary or perimeter like. Circumcircle is a circle around a triangle. So how it will look like? There can be a triangle and the circle will be covering all these three vertices of triangle. For that also you should get a center, at the center of the circle which is equidistant to these vertices. So that can happen by applying certain principles which we have already learned in previous years. What are they? That is what is the most interesting thing now. Last in circle you made because you were aware about or you were knowing about ankle bisector perpendicular from a point to the line or any side in the case of a triangle and you also know the property that Every point on the angle bisector is equidistant from the sides of the angle. In the case of circumcircle, we know the property of perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle. They also meet at a point and that particular point will be equidistant from the end points of the sides of the triangle or the vertex of the triangle. What is the principle we studied? If you draw a perpendicular bisector of a line segment, roughly drawing for you, this is the perpendicular. You take any point on this perpendicular bisector and connect it to the end points of the side, these two sides will be concluded. The length of this line segment connecting a point on the perpendicular to the end point of the line segment will be congruent. You have studied and you have experimented. That principle is used here. How is it? PQR is a triangle and this one and this one are perpendicular bisectors of the sides and they meet at a point. They are concurrent and if you measure the distance from this point to any vertex of this triangle you will see that or you will wonder that they are congruent. Then why can't we take this as radius and draw a circle passing through P, Q and R which we have named as circumcircle. In the earlier case the circle was inside the triangle so it was named as in circle this time the circle is touching the vertices of triangle and the triangle is inside so a yes, triangle is covered by a circle so let us go for its construction and We know the principle used. I would like to repeat it. One principle is a perpendicular bisector and its drawing. Second principle is that every point on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from the end points of the line segment. Okay, with this principle we will be drawing circumcircle. To draw a circumcircle of a triangle, first of all you should know to draw a triangle according to the given instruction which was studied in 7th standard. Here it is given that the triangle name is DEF 
and it is given that DE is 4.2 centimeter, angle D is 60 degree and angle E is 70 degree. This type of construction you have studied. Now for the convenience of drawing, I will be redrawing this rough diagram DEF. This I have told you before also. And DE will be marked here as 4.2, this one. And D will be 60 degree and E will be 70 degree. Now, construction of such a triangle is not a new thing for you. You know about it. So I am not giving you any explanation or anything about it. I am directly drawing it for you. Okay, I need to draw DE first which is of 4.2 centimeter. Then with help of 4.2 centimeter. This is DE. With the help of protractor, I can measure an I can measure an angle of 60 degree, which starts from here. It is here. For the matter of convenience and saving time, I am simply drawing this through this point, and it is accurate. Another angle which is E of 70 degree. Keep it here. This time I will be using the left side scale of protractor and it reaches here. And I have to draw and locate F with the help of this measurement which will go through this point and it is D E F F can be marked here so what we got is triangle according to the measurement given what is next next step is drawing circumcircle for that we should find out perpendicular bisectors of any two sides which will meet at a point. So to draw a perpendicular bisector of a line segment you have studied in 6th standard that principle you will be using. From the end points of the line segment of each perpendicular bisector to be drawn take a measurement with a compass more than half of it and draw arc on both sides. Take the compass to the other side, tilt it accordingly, bring it over here, mark an arc over here, mark an arc on the other side. If you draw a line connecting these two intersecting points of the arc, you will get a perpendicular bisector. So let me draw that before proceeding. Okay, the same way any other, other side you can select, one of the other side. Let me take this side for finding out perpendicular bisector of it.
now i need to connect these two points of intersection correct so i got a point over here which is the intersection of two perpendicular bisectors which is that point that point is this understood now if you use compass and draw a circle in such a way that touching the vertices it will be possible for you now for that the compass to be picked from here put it here in the common center and take distance to any one of the vertex and draw the circle that is a way of doing it so let me do that you got a circle passing through the three vertices of the triangle this circle is named as circum circle what's it it is circum circle you will be practicing it what more now click on the subscription button below to subscribe the channel then the bell button to get the notifications of the new videos thank you
while practicing it and doing it at home you will be doing all the sums given as a practice sums in your textbook exercise along with that you will be doing filling the blanks of this particular chart what happens in the case of an equilateral triangle then an isosceles triangle and a scalene triangle when you draw an in center and what will happen if you try to draw While drawing the circumcenter, while drawing the in center and then drawing the in circle, what happens inside an equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle and scalene triangle, you will be comparing and filling this table. which is a good exercise for you. Why? Because it will give a clear cut picture about how the in center and circum center changes its position according to the type of triangle. Understood? So this I am leaving to you because you have to do and fill it. Okay. Going ahead, little more information about this. Whenever you have to draw an in circle, you need to draw a triangle which is touching the circle from inside, each side of the circle. And for that you will be drawing angle bisectors, minimum two angle bisectors. Whenever you have to draw circum circle of a triangle, which passes through the vertices of a triangle, you will be making drawing at least two perpendicular bisectors of any two sides. And while filling the or for filling the tables just shown before, whenever you, when you draw different types of different angle, acute angle, right angle and obtuse angle to triangle, you will come to know that the circumcenter changes its position according to the type of angle. In an acute angle, circumcenter will be always inside. 
and in the case of a right angle the circumcentral will shift on to the hypotenuse and in the case of an obtuse angled triangle the circumcentral will go out I mean it will be in the exterior of the triangle but as far as in center of it any triangle is concerned it always lies interior of the triangle this is conclusion but this conclusion you will not buy hard ye aapko feel hone ke liye aap textbook ka exercise ka har ek sum karenge har ek exercise har ek question answer karenge by drawing at that time you will compare with this statement and will conclude ha theek hai this is this way it is and this is chapter is related is about circle as i told you before circle is one of the master figure in geometry maybe because circular shape spherical shape the shape of earth the shape of all such uh, extra terrestrial and universal objects are having connection and everything are managed within that 360 degree that circle has got this many number of properties so you have lot of activity in this lesson you have to draw equilateral triangle to experiment with what happens in equilateral triangle you have to draw in circle circum circle many things you have to do you have to do that is the main important thing while doing you have to observe and conclude and understand about what happens to the 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 uh, angle bisectors of an equilateral triangle what happens to the perpendicular bisectors if it is in an equilateral triangle all such small small things you should take it as a question in your mind that i will check these things while drawing and get the conclusion and you can take the measurement of uh, from the in center to the side from the circum center to the vertex and you can even draw all three um, what we say angle bisectors all three uh, perpendicular bisectors and check how accurately it comes so you take a i would say you take a one full week time for drawing all these things and be very clear about it it will help you thank you